Hello and welcome back to the channel and today what I thought I'd do is do a follow-up video to this question I posted on my uh, channel a few weeks ago and as you can see the response has been overwhelming. Literally thousands of you have said yes we use VSL samples with either Sibelius or Dorigo. So <laughs> today I thought we take a look at that but with a twist with Note Performer 5. I know some of you are thinking, really Paul, Note Performer? There's a ton of stuff on YouTube about that. Well, trust me, there's been an update to this beautiful bit of software that's just not been trumpeted enough. I think Wallander have missed a trick. They've done something with this software that just makes it extraordinary. And today we're gonna to be using it with Mia Pro. The Anna Symphonic Libraries astounding mixing environment where you can place your instruments on a virtual stage and it just oh wow you want to check this out now there are demo licenses available for this so you can follow along at home if you want to the links in the video description below are not affiliate links i'm not paid for this video i don't you know i'm not paid for any of it i own the software we're looking at but i am using a demo license as you can too of vsl stuff because it's out there publicly. You'd have to make an account, download the stuff for free. You get 30 days to try it out. Do it. If you use Dorico 6, I urge you to try it because, wow, it just takes Note Performer to a completely different level. I'm going to be using a score that I've used before, the rather lovely Mendelssohn Violin Concerto, to show you how this works in Mia Pro. And we're going to be looking at the setup in Dorico 6. We can't be doing this yet in Sibelius Ultimate because Sibelius still uses a mixer that is straight out of 1973. Avid really do need to sort that one out. So until they do, it's a Dorico only from now on. So with that in mind, let's start taking a look at it. I tell you what, 2025 just keeps getting better and better. Once you've installed the software, you can set your orchestra up on a stage any way you like. And I've laid out my orchestra here with my little solo player, kind of where they would be on stage with my string ensemble, my woodwinds and my brass behind. And this is the Sage Hall 1, which was available in the original Mia uh, X reverb extensions that you used to be able to get with uh, the original Vienna instrument sample player from VSL. And I absolutely love it. It's my favourite setting. So I thought I'd use this one in Mia Pro 2. Now this software is massive. When you get yourself a demo licence, give yourself some time because it's got a learning curve to it. But my God, it sounds amazing. And that hiss you can hear is room tone from this venue as if your ear was ear before these players start playing. So it's the sound of the room, and then on top of that, you get the gorgeous reverb of all the players playing. All right. So that's where they're gonna be playing from. I've got the Dorico mixer open here, because we, as we can now access all the instrument slots, I've added Mir Pro into each instrument. I've popped Mir Pro on the uh, metronome output and turned that one into the room tone signal. And you can also add EQ or effects to any instrument now. And I think we'll all agree, users of Note Performer, I think we'll agree that the strings perhaps aren't the best samples that they've got. I think the brass is amazing, but the strings aren't brilliant. But you can EQ and tweak them now as you would in a door with different sample library. And I've added a rather nice EQ here. Now, users of MuseScore Studio will have access to this. But as MuseScore Studio is completely free, I've got a link to it in the video description. If you haven't got that or haven't tried it yet, head over there, download the software because it's amazing. But it also has some really lovely effects and I'm using one now. It's the simple EQ on a vintage Vive setting for my solo violin. I've turned it down slightly because it's a kind of loud. And on the master output of the Dorico mixer, I'm using an instance of Miracle, which is the reverb that you'll get with Mir Pro when you get the demo license. And I'm using it on a bog standard preset, okay, just to give it a little polish on the uh, master there. And I'm also using a tape emulation master effect, again, 
for Muse effects that you'll get with MuseScore Studio. You can use the effects in Dorico 6 as well, which is kind of handy. And that is it. The only thing I've done, I've kept, uh, I haven't tweaked anything else apart from finished the tempo map of this score. So when it plays back, you'll see the, uh, the tempo ebb and flow a little bit. And just before we play it back, if I open up the uh, note performer mixer here, centered all the panning because that's all coming from Mir Pro, but I've changed the settings so it uses separate stereo outputs to instantly add instrument slots to the Dorico mixer. I'll tell you, you need to do that to each instance in your project, but it's child's play to do it now. And I've turned off the inbuilt reverb because of course we're using uh, Mir Pro. And that is it. Okay, if I change it back to the score view, now, as this plays back, I'll uh, be opening the different mixers and so I can see what's going on there. Make sure nothing's clipping because Mir Pro, wow, but it is quite loud. So I'll make sure that's not happening as I play it back. I'd love to know what you think. What a time we live in. So I'm just going to press play and you want to check this one out. Right, I'll just stop it there, otherwise we're going to be here all month. <laughs> so that's it for now, thanks ever so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you again soon for the next one.